Here's today's virtual warm up. I'm gonna take Zach Karen here and we're gonna start off just kind of open up our hips and ankles. I'm gonna have you get in the bottom of a squat position. I don't care if you even get up on your toes. All I really want to do is close that ankle down and just kind of move around. Don't stay stagnant, move back and forth. Find some tight stuff in those ankles. Let those hips relax. Good, come on out of that. Have you face me. We're just gonna do a basic hip flexor stretch. Key point here is I want the core engaged and I want you to squeeze the back glute. We don't have to get into this crazy extension. We just need to focus on this hip and less everything else. So keep that uh, glute squeezed, keep breathing, keep a tight core. Good, come on out of there. Now that we've got those little stretches going, let's go ahead and some basic squats. We're gonna mess with your, go ahead and face the camera. We'll mess with your, your stagger and your stance. So let's go, let's say a normal squat. Give me two and then give me a sumo squat real wide. Give me two more reps and let's just get to a narrow squat just to kind of mess around with some different angles here. Good, once we've hit those squats, go ahead and face me and just hit a couple lunges. Same thing as we did on the static hold is we're keeping the core tight, we're squeezing that back glute and we're coming forward. We're driving out, we're putting force to the ground to get back to that starting position. We're not using our torso to fly backwards. Good, now that we've hit those, let's get a couple side lunges. Good. Main thing here, just keep the feet flat. Let's try not to get up on that ankle on this one. Just give me one more. Good. Now that we've done that, let's just add a little rotation to this. Let's just face forward, get into a, about a shoulder width stance and go rotate backwards into a rotational squat. Sit down, come back up. Just give me two more. Perfect. Now go ahead and get into a push-up position facing me. And all we're gonna do is engage our core and we're gonna get into a downward dog position, going back and forth and we're pushing the ground away with our hands. We're using force to get this, opening up the shoulder, getting some of that overhead range, getting back to the top of the bench press. We're opening up that posterior. One more. Good, now let's go ahead and flip on your butt. And we're gonna do what we call reverse plank to really open up that shoulder capsule. Key coaching point here is I want his knuckles facing his heels and he's gonna brace his core and extend up. And then if you feel a good stretch there, you can pull yourself forward. We're really getting that shoulder extension and internal rotation. Opening up that capsule, good. Come on out of that. Stay down though, face me. Let's get into a little plank, plank flow. We're just gonna keep opening up that shoulder range. We're going from a push-up position to a side plank. We're staying tight. We're opening up some of that T-spine there taking the capsules through different ranges. Always come back to the center and find some stability before you move to the side plank. Good, come back to center. Perfect. And there's today's virtual warm up. Welcome to today's virtual circuit. I'm with Charles Bentley and I'm joined by Zach Karen. Today's circuit is gonna be centered around the lower back and the fun part of the body, arms. I believe that players with the biggest arms are probably gonna be the best players at least it makes sense to me. So what Zach is gonna do is gonna take the rubber band and we're gonna take the muscle through its basic three functions, isometric, mysometric, concentric, and eccentric contraction. So by manipulating all three, we have a better opportunity to get really big biceps. And again, that's important. So what Zach is gonna do here is go with an isometric hold, we're gonna hold it for X amount of time, that will go into the next video that you're gonna see. And then he's gonna start getting some pumps in there, bringing some good blood flow into the muscles. That isometric is gonna start tearing up that muscle pretty good. And then as you start to add these pumps in there, we're gonna get a lot of good blood flow. So you're gonna enjoy this movement. Make sure that you wear a really tight shirt after today's workout. Now we're gonna go into the triceps. Here we go. Same deal here, we're gonna get an isometric hold and then we're gonna start getting a few pumps in. How's that feel? Feel good? Now, we get into some shoulder work. Shoulders, obviously, you know, with offensive linemen, defensive linemen, and I would say football players in general, the shoulder girdle is the most unstable in the body. When you think about it, if you think about a spoon and an egg, and you put the egg inside the spoon, that's about how deep the shoulder is. So what you wanna do is build as much strength and stability and more so muscle mass around the shoulder as you can to create a strong, robust shoulder. So what we're gonna do here is a front ways and then take it out to the side and then bring it back in. Good, nice job. And once we get done with that, we'll go lateral. 
We're hitting the deltoids here, lateral, posterior, anterior. What I want Zach to do here is take it through three phases. What typically is gonna happen with this movement, we're gonna start here with slack in the band and then yank it above the head. That's not what we're looking for. Three phases, create tension, parallel, take it above the head. One more time, create tension, parallel, take it above the head, good. Now we're gonna go to a bent over position, bent over lateral raise. Now we're working on the posterior aspect of that shoulder. This one's gonna have to be what you're mindful of in terms of the tension that you need on this band. So play with the foot position. What you don't wanna do is create so much tension that you start trying to rotate and pull your shoulder into the movement. That's not what we're looking for. Great job. Last but not least, we're gonna work our way to the ground, hit this low back. In all seriousness, the low back is a common issue for current football players and post football players. So what you wanna do is start thinking about building as much strength in the low back as you can while you're playing this game. And the irony is many of the exercises that you're gonna use to build that, you can carry with you once you're done playing this game. So with that being said, we're gonna go into a Superman position. With this Superman position, two things usually happen. Players just flex right here and lift up at the top of the shoulders. Now, that's not what we want. We wanna start with the mid of the body being contracted first and allowing that to start to elevate the rest of the body. So simply squeeze your glutes. Good. Last but not least, a cobra position. I'm sorry, let me get out of your way. First thing Zach's gonna show you is the wrong way to do the cobra position. Again, as you can see here, he's just lifting these big strong shoulders off the mat. That's not what we want. We want the glutes to get involved in order to get the low back and the glutes working together. That's where you're gonna create the most stability and get the most out of this movement. Here we go. Good. As you can see with the hands, it's based on how much mobility you have in the shoulders. If you don't have a lot, take the hands up a little bit, Z. Good, do more towards your ears. There you go. That's all you got, that's all you got. We're gonna work with what you have. So with all that being said, you good? Stand on up, man, it's okay, you, it's enough demo. With all that being said, stay safe, and I hope the virtual circus have helped you continue your journey to become the best player you can be. Welcome to Virtual Mobility Today. Today we're gonna do some ankle mobility, active ankle mobility with a band, a light band, and we're gonna do some tricep smashing, right? It really help that shoulder joint out a little bit with a lacrosse ball, we have a baseball, whatever you can find within that, that type of size is good to go. So first thing we're gonna do is have the athlete just sit, uh, you know, sit on down, facing the camera, right? Resist this band, not too much weight. But the trickiest part of this is the band. So actually just notice how he's putting the band on his foot, right? He has it in both hands. All he's gonna do is crisscross one of them. Good. Now, now tighten it up on the foot. Good, good to go. Now, to get the foot off the ground, you can go ahead and take the other foot and lay it underneath the calf. Good, now what we're gonna do is bring it inside. We're gonna work on some external rotation of the toe, right? Really try to make sure that you're allowing the whole foot, right, to externally rotate. Really get some extra external rotation in that ankle. Good, then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go internal, so opposite side holding it. Same thing with the foot. Whole foot, more internal rotation, right? We gotta get all these angles in this particular ankle. Good, after that, we're gonna get some plantar flexion in. So pull the band up a little bit higher on the ball of the foot. Extend it. Good, we'll just get some pumps in. Probably about like 10 pumps. Then maybe get a hold in. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Plantar flex. Yep, just hold it. Good, so that pretty much takes care of our dorsiflexion pumps as well. So now we're just gonna do a dorsiflexion hold and just hold that ankle in that dorsiflex position. Just a little bit more passive uh, ankle mobility. But as you can see, we really attacked all the different angles of the uh, ankle. Good, so we're gonna do that on the right leg and the left leg. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do some tricep smashing. Now as I said, we have a baseball here. If you got a racket ball, if you got a lacrosse ball, that'll work as well. So what we really want you to do, first thing we're gonna start off is just kind of with the arm extended. We're gonna with the arm extended, right? Some people have some elbow pain here. Right, so wherever you're having elbow pain, be it in an extension, right? 
start doing it in extension. If you have an elbow plane in flexion, do it in flexion. So we're gonna do both of them here. And all he's doing is flossing back and forth, right? Trying to allow that muscle to just kind of get a little bit more healthy in there, get some things sliding, right? He finds a spot that hurts a little bit. He's gonna stay there, he's gonna contract into it, and he's gonna relax. Good. Find another sore spot, contract, relax. Make sure you're getting right, right above the elbow and make sure you're working your way up the tricep as well. We wanna get the whole tricep, especially that long head of the tricep. Good, now he's doing it in flexion, right? Maybe you got some, maybe you got some elbow pain here, right? Cause we have to remember that triceps, right? They really are in, in charge of, you know, the shoulder, what the shoulder's doing in range of motion, right? If you're a person that really can't lock out your elbow, this is something that's really good for you. So we're just gonna do that on the right arm. You could do it on the left arm, do it on the left arm as well. We'll do that in the next training video, but that's your virtual mobility for today.